this year I really want to get some lime into the silty areas. By applying lime directly to exposed silt it does a much better job. Now we're using a special agricultural lime, this is not builder's lime. Uh, in France it's a product called Chauvive. So Chauvive is oxide de calcium which, and oxide de magnesium. It's 92% oxide de calcium which is basically calcium oxide. And this does multiple jobs. It's going to kill off all the parasites that reside within the silt. It's really effective at doing that. And this is why we prefer to use Chauvive as opposed to just something like Siltex or, uh, or any other product like that, which is basically just super fine ground up chalk. We have to be super careful when we're using Chauvive, so I'm working to a prescribed program that's been drawn up for specifically for this lake by a professional. This is not the sort of stuff that you want to be flinging randomly anyway. I have to use a face mask when doing this, and you really don't want to get this stuff in your eyes as well. So we choose a calm day not too much wind because yeah you get a face full of this and it really does sting as well as killing the parasites it's going to seriously accelerate the rate of breakdown of the leaves and silt that we've still got left yeah we've been doing some dig out work but as you've seen in the netting yeah there's an awful lot more silt in there that we'll probably never be able to get out we can only do our best and we've always applied lime annually but we haven't always been able to apply lime directly to exposed silt because of time pressures the lime treatment program has to be done very carefully stage by stage with three weeks gap in between each treatment so while we're in drain down at the moment i'm going to apply four four bags to the areas of the exposed lake that we've got wait three weeks and then when the level's up I shall start treating the lake section by section with water in. Now there's some disagreement among, amongst fishery managers as to whether it's even worth doing it with water in but I follow the guy that I've trusted for the last 12 years. He tells me that that's the thing to do and he's never steered me wrong and so that's what we do. As soon as the lime is applied to the shallow areas of the lake, if we apply it to a shallow pool, it has the effect of instantly clearing the water. It literally sucks all the sediment, any suspended matter, out of the lake and gravitates it to the bottom. So this will automatically make the lake much clearer and brighter, which is lovely. You can hear it fizz. That's what we want to hear, really. Fizz, fizz, fizz. Rather than apply the lime to all of the exposed margins, I really want to concentrate it on the heavily silted areas and areas of heavy leaf matter that we haven't been able to clean up. This way we're going to get the maximum benefit from the product. Now you never know what strange things you're going to find in the lake and I've just stumbled across a spoon. What on earth is this is doing, well it's metres away from a margin or the bridge but Yep, someone's lost their teaspoon. So yeah, there's another concentration of uh, of mussels in front of this rock here in this in this hole. This is a hole that's quite close to the kind of end of the island, the one that's nearest the bridge. And I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six big mussels right in the middle of the hole. Happy as Larry. I'm sure one of the reasons why we've got such a fantastic population of freshwater mussels now here, I mean, we've got thousands of them, um, is the annual treatment of lime chauvive that we've been doing uh, you know, for the last 10 years now. Mussels need calcium from the lime in order to build their shells. And uh, if there's not enough naturally available in the water, then they won't be able to grow, grow well. And when we first took over this lake, the first drain down we saw, it was, there was nothing. There was not a freshwater mussel in sight. Lots of dead ones, but soon, once we dug it out, once we cleaned it out, once we started treating with lime, the freshwater mussels were back within a couple of years and they have been coming on leaps and bounds ever since. Freshwater mussels filter our water and they're also a good indicator of good quality water to start with.